Hi everyone, it's Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing well. Happy Friday. Um, we are getting a lot of snow where I live in Illinois. The Chicagoland area typically gets really cold and snowy winters, and this one is no exception. We had a lot of snow last week. We had a snowstorm, and I think we got about five or six inches of snow where I live. And last night it snowed like another six to eight inches all night long. And so when I woke up, everything is just covered with snow. And um, I really like it. In the winter time when it's cloudy, I really like the snow because it's so bright. It helps alleviate any seasonal depression. I mean, it doesn't alleviate it totally, but it helps because it's bright. And even if the sun isn't shining, the brightness feels good. But if the sun is shining, it's magnificent because it reflects off the snow. It's like blinding. You have to wear sunglasses when you're outside and it feels so good on days like that. And yesterday was a day like that. Today it's a little bit cloudy, but lots of snow. And as it turned out, my two college kids had their classes canceled today because of the snow. And my high school student is home today because of the snow. And my husband went into work and he's a physician. So a whole bunch of his patients canceled their appointments so that they didn't have to go out in the snow. And he only had one of his staff show up. So he decided just to close the office and he's heading home right now. So that's nice. He'll be home early today. So I won't be stuck in the house all day with, not that my son is bad company, but he's gaming. <laughs> he's in his room gaming. So it'll be nice to be, have someone to talk to. So that's what's going on here. I hope that wherever you are, you're keeping really warm and I hope you're taking care of yourselves and you're not getting sick like we all do in the winter months. So Anyways, enough of that chitter chatter. I'm gonna be sharing with you my December monthly favorites. I know it's a little bit late, it's about mid-January now, but um, I didn't have a ton because in the month of December, I have my birthday and then there's Christmas and then new um, right after the new year is my anniversary. So I didn't really purchase anything. I really just used a lot of things that I had and then people gave me some gifts and I'll share those kinds of things with you. So I didn't really purchase too much, but I do have some monthly favorites. So anyways, I'm just gonna jump in and get started. So I've been outside a lot, shoveling the driveway. My husband has a really large snowblower. It's so big that it's really hard for me to push. So my son does that for me, but I shovel the walkways and the sidewalks and all that. So I go outside and I help the best I can. And so I'm outside a lot doing that, and I'm outside walking my dogs and in this really frigid weather and all the snow and wind my skin gets really chapped so what I've been relying on is an old favorite it's tried and true and it works every time and it's from CeraVe and it's the daily moisturizing lotion it does come in a daily moisturizing cream which is thicker and richer and I do have that too and I use that as well so either of those products depending on how dry your skin is I really keep up with my skin hydration so I've been using this mainly but like on the days where my skin is super duper dry I use the one that's in the pot and it's a little bit more rich than this one. But this has hyaluronic acid in it, it has ceramides in it, it has glycerin in it, it has all these ingredients that just help pull and retain moisture into your skin and retain your moisture barrier. And it feels light on the skin. I like to use this one at night because it doesn't have any SPF in it, but it's so good. It makes my skin feel very supple, very emollient, and I think it's really important to moisturize. So if you were to ask me what the number one thing for your skin is, besides a vitamin A derivative and sunblock, I would say moisture. Moisture is really, really important. When I worked in a nursing home, I'm a nurse, but when I was a student, I worked in nursing homes, and whenever a woman had like beautiful skin, or if I was helping them get ready for bed, and they wanted to use like their skincare, it's so funny because no matter how old we are, we still want to maintain our skin. But I would talk to the ladies and they would always tell me like their secrets. And it was always like a really rich emollient cream. 
on their skin. And that's what they would swear by to make their skin look beautiful well into the, like their 80s and 90s. But I think that it's really important because if you ever notice when your skin is dry or chapped, even just a little bit dry, you could see your fine lines more. And then every time you smile, you kind of etch them in deeper because there's nothing to help them kind of bounce back out. By moisturizing and building up your skin barrier, it keeps it plump and bouncy. And if you smile or if you fall asleep, it, there's nothing to really etch in because it's already kind of puffed out. Does that make sense? It makes sense to me. So that's why I swear by a good moisturizer. And it's really important to have things like glycerin and hyaluronic acid and ceramides and things that are known to rebuild your skin barrier because moisture alone it only kind of floats on the surface. You need to have those ingredients that pull that moisture in and retain it. So this is a really good one. And I love all CeraVe products. I really do. I love CeraVe and I love La Roche-Posay. Those have to be my two absolute favorites. So this is wonderful. And then I've also been using the CeraVe Eye Repair Cream and it has essentially the same ingredients. It has um, I wrote down what ceramides it has. It has one, three, six, and 11. And your skin naturally makes ceramides, but as you get older, they diminish. So when you use a product that has ceramides, it helps that moisture balance. It, it just helps your, your putting back onto your skin, what your skin isn't creating as much on its own. So I love this. I've been using it day and night. Both of these are unscented. During the day, I use something with an SPF too, but um, I, this is the eye cream I've been using and I love it. It's really good. I am a believer in eye cream. I know a lot of people have said to me in the past, like you can just use your regular skincare up around your eyes, but I've always used eye cream and I don't have a lot of problems with my eyes. So I, I whether it's working or not, I'm not gonna stop because I think it helps me. Okay, the next item is something that I got for my birthday from my daughters, and it looks like this. It's the Coach Wild Rose Fragrance, and this came out in 2022. It's newer from Coach, and my daughters picked it up for me because we were out shopping one day, and I spritzed this on the tester when we were out, and then we just kind of went about our day, but when we got home, I took my coat off, and when I opened my coat up, it like, the, the scent came wafting out and it smelled so good that all three of us were like, that smells so good. And um, I, I decided that I really wanted it for my birthday. So my daughters got it for me. And this is a feminine scent. And typically I like scents that are like a little bit unisex. So it surprises me that I like this as much as I do because I would say that it's very feminine, but I do love Lancome's La Vie Espelle and that's a very feminine scent as well. So let me tell you the notes that are in this in case you're someone who knows the notes that you like in fragrances and it might help you decide if you wanna try this fragrance. So the top note is red currant and bergamot. The middle note is rose and jasmine, and the base notes are ambroxan and tonka bean and moss. And the base notes are sort of earthy, natural scents that I think kind of balance the citrusy and sweeter top and middle notes. And the top and middle notes are what I can smell immediately upon application. But as the day goes on, it smells a little more powdery to me and it smells a little more, um, like I can smell vanilla in it, even though there isn't vanilla in it. So I like that. I always love fragrances that smell like vanilla, but I think it's something in the base notes, the tonka bean or the ambroxan or moss. Um, and although it's called Wild Rose, it doesn't smell super rosy to me. I do like rosy scents, but this doesn't, it's not like you would say, oh, what is that rose scent? It smells like roses. It doesn't really smell like roses to me. I would say sample it if you're ever in Ulta or Sephora and see if you like it, but it's a really beautiful fragrance. It's really kind of cozy and soft, a little bit more citrusy than florally. And then, like I said, a little bit um, earthy as well. So that's the best way I can describe it, but I love it. I'm so happy that my daughter's got it for me and I'm going to enjoy it. I this. think it is a good winter fragrance. It's kind of crisp 
and cozy. So I think it's a good winter This thing fragrance. is something I got for Christmas and it's from Pat McGrath and it's called the Bijou Brilliance Starstruck Pl Splendor Mothership Palette. It's a mouthful. And it is a limited edition palette and it was released in two colors. One is sold out, but the one that I have is not sold out. And it normally was $76, but it is $45 now on the Pat McGrath website. So I wanted to share it with you. So if you are interested in it, you can get it still. And this is what the palette looks like on the outside. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, how can you not not want a palette that is so pretty like this? And it opens up like this and has a very large mirror that I kept covered because I don't use these mirrors to get ready. And this is what the palette looks like. So you have nine eyeshadow shades and mattes, metallics, and shimmers. And you also get two blushes. So it's a really good deal for $45 or $46 in my opinion, because you do get the two blushes, which are full size blushes and the nine eyeshadows. So this is one of the blushes and it's just this beautiful coral shade, pinky coral. And then you have one that's like a little bit deeper and more earthy, more mauve I guess. So that's what they look like. And they look really pretty layered on top of each other as well. And it has that beautiful embossing on it that the blushes have when you purchase them individually. And these are the eyeshadows. And there are so many beautiful mattes. I really love the mattes that I've tried. I'm still kind of working through this palette and trying to find looks. And so these are the four mattes. You've got like a taupey sort of nudie pink. You've got one that leans a little more mauve or lavender. Then you have this one, it's sort of terracotta, and then you have a rose. And they're all really beautiful. They're all very um, pigmented. So when you apply them, you have to apply them with a light touch and then build them. Otherwise, you'll put them on and you'll have to blend and blend and blend because they are so pigmented. So you have to be careful. And then you have some amazing shimmers in here. This is my favorite. You would think it would be the green. I think in the summer or spring, I like the green more. But look at that for that like sort of wet eyeshadow look. Look how pretty that is, so sparkly. And then this is one of the greens. Look at that. And then you have, and then you have this one. Oh my gosh, I have not used this one yet. I have used this one and again, light touch, incredibly pigmented and it looks really pretty with the rosy tones. And then you have some coppery and bronzy ones as well. I'm kind of layering them. I'm wiping my finger off on a, on a tissue I have, but um, copper and bronze. And then the mattes are like here, 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 and here. So beautiful. I just have been enjoying this palette so much, and I'm really thankful that my daughters thought to get it for me. I hadn't put it on a list or picked it out or anything like that. So it was a big surprise. I guess I just saw the price tag on a lot of Pat McGrath products and I wouldn't dream of asking my family to get them for me, but this was on sale. I think there was a 30 or 40% off around the holidays. So they picked it up on sale, thank goodness, but it is on sale presently. So this is a really fun palette. I think it's going to look really beautiful in the spring and summer with those corally blushes and mauvey blushes and the the green shades with the mauves and rosies just so pretty so feminine and it's a beautiful palette okay the next thing is something i've never talked about on my channel i've just kind of forgotten about it but it's something i love because i do intermittent fasting and i do watch my carbs and sugar intake really closely just to keep my weight stable in menopause as we all know that that is really tricky and carbs are my enemy but i love this brand called chalk zero this isn't sponsored they haven't sent me anything they don't know who i am so i've purchased these products with my own money and over the past couple of years i've been one by one trying all their products they are a little bit pricey but i think that trying something from time to time is totally worth it because they're zero carbs or very low carb 
and the calories are pretty low as well, but the flavor and taste is the best I've found anywhere. So one of the things that I love, they have this, I'm gonna link it, I don't have any on hand to show you, but they have like a Nutella. It's a chocolate hazelnut blend, and you can eat it the same way you would use Nutella, but it's got like 200 calories, I believe, per two big tablespoons, but the carbs are very, very low. So if you're on a low carb or a keto diet, it's a good treat. Um, they also make little candy bars like hazelnut bars or just plain old milk chocolate bars or dark chocolate bars. Same thing, very low calories. But something I've been enjoying a lot from Chalk Zero is this, and it's their chocolate syrup. And what I've been loving this for is getting cold brew coffee. This one's from Trader Joe's, but you don't have to get it from Trader Joe's. Just any cold brew coffee that has no sweetener in it, just plain coffee. That's what's in here is just cold brew coffee and water. So it's really good. And you can find that pretty much at any grocery store, just not the Trader Joe brand. And this, and I put a bunch of ice into my Nutribullet. I add probably like a cup and a half of the cold brew coffee, and then I put a couple of tablespoons of the Chuck Zero chocolate syrup, and then I add a little bit of water to it, and then I put it on medium and then high till all the ice is blended in my Nutribullet, and I make a frappuccino. And then you can take, if you're low carb, you can have you can have um, whipped cream, like real whipped cream, and I just put a little whipped cream on the top, um, shake a little espresso powder or chocolate powder on the top, like cocoa, and make myself an iced frappuccino, and it's been and so good. I know that it's the dead of winter and we're usually drinking hot chocolate, which they do make an amazing hot chocolate and they make marshmallows too that are low carb, low sugar marshmallows. Check it out. I usually pick it up on Amazon, but Chuck Zero does have a website and I just wanted to make you aware of the brand because I've loved everything I've tried. And I mean, is it as good as like regular chocolate syrup, like full sugar, like, I don't know, Hershey's or Ghirardelli chocolate syrup. No, probably not, but it's really close. And it's a way to enjoy treats without feeling guilty. And in the summertime, I had their marshmallows and I would roast them because they toast up just like regular marshmallows. And so if we were sitting around the bonfire and everybody was making marshmallows, that's what I would do. So definitely check out Chuck Zero if you haven't and um, yeah, get yourself some cold brew and enjoy a frappuccino. Just put it in your blender, pulse the ice until it's all crushed and then mix it all up and you've got yourself a really good treat. So I think I'm gonna end this here. And these are my monthly favorites for the month of December. I do have a lot of other things I wanna share with you, but I wanted to make complete videos. One of you asked me to make a blush video, like my favorite, my favorite cream blushes for mature skin. And um, I also wanted to do a give the Gwen Stefani brand, Get Ready With Me, and I have a new foundation that I'm loving and I wanna try for you and do a full review of, so I'll be doing those in upcoming videos. And thank you for spending some time with me. Let me know how you're all doing. Are you also in an Arctic tundra like I am, or do you live somewhere warm and beautiful this time of year? If you do, I, I kinda envy that a little bit. But anyways, you win some, you lose some. Have a blessed and beautiful day. I'll see you next time.